this segment just does not go away. Um, people keep submitting commercials. People really like seeing me react to old commercials. I don't, I don't get it, but you know what? Once in a while, it's fun for me. What I don't like is the program to make YouTube poops of this stuff because 85% of the time the renders just do not work, period. So, unfortunately, it took me longer to make those renders than I expected, but we got them. We got them. Um, let's start with a YouTube poop. What are you saying to some funny? I thought I was out. Ten <laughs> result. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me. Vincent Rizzo, please. Just when they thought I was out. Oh my God. No. I have to like keep my finger on the mute button. Thought I was out. Oh my God. It just keeps going. The joke is just when I thought I was out, I thought I was I was out and they pulled me back in. Do you understand? It was that was the joke. That was the that was the joke. And I'm doing and I, and I'm doing the commercials again. There's still a minute of this. Please, God. Please, oh, please, God. <laughs> do they really want their watermark on this? Maybe they do. Anyway, the segment is all about old commercials, video game commercials. Some I've seen, most I haven't. Uh, and then I show you them, you look at them, and then I talk about them. Uh, that's that's it. It's, yeah. Yo, it's Kool-Aid Man here with some wild changes to my all-new Kool-Aid Wacky Warehouse Mall. It. Hanging at the mall, the Wacky Warehouse Mall. Yo, it's Kool-Aid Man here with some wild changes to that's my all-new Kool-Aid Wacky Warehouse Mall. Hanging at the mall, the Wacky Warehouse Mall. I don't know why the video didn't show. I wonder if that's a new exploit problem. I promise you Hugh no Neutron is not going to be shitting into an oil drum or listening to that at all. Not today. Attention, Cosmo Kids. Now, Kool-Aid's giving away Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Metroid 2? You can battle graphics enhanced with your free Game Boy Metroid 2 game pack by saving Kool-Aid points Thank on all God the graphics are enhanced. Packages. You can find order forms at the Kool-Aid display in participating stores. You know what's interesting? The Kool-Aid man voice sounds like my voice. Oh, that was Samus. Did they just take an image and then... Yeah, look at that. Um... Okay, that was a weird commercial, but yeah, the Kool-Aid Man voice is just my voice I do for, like, Xbox, like, dudes. Like, hey, if you want some cool Xbox games, you just have to go to the store that you uh, like to buy your video games at, and then enable, and hit Windows G. Only then can you smash through a wall. It's the most lethal G.I. Joe team yet. Capcom Street Fighter 2! No way! Wait. Wait. Are these whoa 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 Street Fighter? Did they hire live action actors? Yeah, that's not M Bison. Sorry. Wow, they hired a full cast of actors. They should have just used these people for the movie. I want to see that. Like they they hired. Okay. You, Good jaw. So, all right, you're up. We need jaw person. Um, I guess we'll just paint this other person green. And M. Bison is just some random person. Fine. Yeah, Dalsim is, ama is amazing back there. Very good. 
I always like the above and beyond effort of commercials of actually hiring actors to play the characters. Very good. My left ear is loving this one. Yeah, it's like just after the Play It Loud era, so you, you can see the edge, right? Do you, you get it? There's almost an innuendo in there because marketing was done with innuendos more so. And uh, even Nintendo, the family-friendly Nintendo had to, listen, they had no choice. It's okay, Larry. They had to keep up with A the market trends. Afraid of bugs. It's not going to hurt you. No, no. Many bugs were actually killed during the making of this video. Disney and Pixar is a bug's life. It'll change the way you feel about bugs. Yeah, it made me hate them more because the game fucking sucked. No, it was okay. It wasn't... It... it I'll tell you what, it looked decent for PS1, but that was on a demo disc I had. I don't remember what demo disc, but yeah. Hey, power players, get on top of your game. Power players, call the doctor. Doctor, <laughs> hey, dude, 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 I've got that gift. Look at this MS Paint looking motherfucker. Like now. Better call Saul. Doctor video right now. Two dollars the first minute, forty-five cents each additional minute. Kids, remember to ask your parents before you call. One nine hundred nine oh nine ten ten nine oh nine ten ten nine oh nine ten ten. Nine oh nine ten ten nine oh nine ten ten nine oh nine ten. You'll never forget that now. But if they dial nine oh nine ten eleven, sex line. Hey Careful. kids, power up your score Careful. on Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers 2. Call the power phone for Nintendo players. Get high scoring tips and find out how you can get a free super power patch. Call 1-900-909-3500. Don't let Zelda down. Call the power phone. Don't let Zelda Dial down. 1-900-909-3500. Power up your game. Destroy Ganon and get a free super power patch. Call the power phone for Nintendo players. What? You get, get a real thing? You get a patch? On Punch Out, Contra, Gauntlet, Kung Fu, Donkey Kong, Double Dragon, and more. Call now. 1-900-909-3500. Just $2 for the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute. Ask mom or dad first. The power phone is an independent information source not affiliated with Nintendo. Nintendo of course it is Nintendo products are registered trademark. So then they keep you on the phone. So... Tell me, where did you get up to in Zelda? Uh, I'm up to the part where um, you have to play the flute and then the, the river, the lake turns into a dungeon. Oh, it's me, Kevin McAllister, the father. Ten minutes later, do you have bombs? Ten minutes later, try bombing the northmost wall in the dungeon, in the northmost room in the dungeon. And then, like, the kid just leaves the phone on. Like, he walks away from the phone, and the phone stays on for four hours. Also, Dr. Video is great. That, that is, look at Dr. Video. How cool. Hey, dude, dude, dude. Hey, dude, dude, dude. So far, this is my f my favorite commercial of the night. Apparently, you can't even call 1-900 numbers anymore. Like, they're just gone. Someone in chat was saying they're, like, dead. I don't know. A monster devours your planet in half oh, oh. for Nintendo! Do you have the guts ah. to battle inside? Sorry. I just, I couldn't handle it. It was too much. A monster devours your planet! Inside the belly of the beast, fight ugly eyeballs, twisted worms, skeleton fish, guardian ghouls, and save the planet from total destruction. Avadox for your Nintendo. Why don't we have more like people like that doing commercials? Also, I, I have to praise the effort. For your they built Nintendo. a weird fucking thing, like a, a flesh thing with eyes. I mean, there's some smoke, it moves, it pustulates, it even has a little bit of wet on it. 
it, that's pretty good. That's effort. But yeah, it's it's body horror. It, like Cronenberg made an NES game. Kind of want to play that. Um, I'm sorry to do this to you, but uh, here's the first poop. Uptime. Oh, oh, keep in mind these could get these could get loud. I'm keeping them at a lower volume. As long as Hugh N Nutrin doesn't shit into an oil can, we're we're good. From your relief. Who, who was that? Why did Mickey Mouse say bad words? Call the power phone for Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Change the way you feel. Another septum. This week, adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. I sweat when I play these. I swear to God. <laughs> Kool Aid Wacky Warehouse Mall, the Wacky. Plus, uh, uh, press Windows G. Plus, plus, plus. It. Come. Is it Plessy, the name of Mario 64's dinosaur? Yeah, there you go. It's it's game related. I'll, uh, you know. That was a bit. By the way, for the record, that YouTube poop was poop. Um, and and I also want to mention. Oh, that's 3D World. Sorry. I just want to mention that this is a generator. For those that don't know, anyone who is new to this segment, all three of you, whatever it is, um, there is a program that mashes videos together with its own library of supplemental videos, and I add a couple spicy ones in there too. But I never know what's going to happen, and usually it sucks, but once in a while we get Hugh Neutron. Promotion! It's a good Alice in Chain song. Love! Coming this week, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Trust me, you. Sonic is super weekdays at 3 o'clock on Fox 53. God. That background. That was the cool way to get attention by, back then. You just had to, like, flash colors and, like, put, like, a Dorito as a texture. Are you really good at video games? <laughs> no. Yeah. How? Until you destroy the power reactor. Wow. Then get out before it blows. Blow, blow, blow. Air Fortress. The whole fucking game just got spoiled. Nintendo World Championships and now available for $49.95 plus postage and handling by calling OMLC. So Hal made this. Um, you don't see this game a whole lot these days, even though it was in the Nintendo Championships. It's a good thing Kirby came around because that looked. You know what? That looked just wonderful. Introducing Alien vs. Predator for the 64 bit Atari. Oh, Jaguar. God, this fucking game. You might not want to play it alone. You, you might not want to play it if you value your eyesight. Mom. <laughs> Oh, that's really good. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good commercial. That would have been even better if the arm was ripped off. Like if it was just a prop arm, like a comedy prop arm. But I have to say I'm a fan of that commercial. That's good. The game is fucking hard to look at, though. Really only like two to three frames a second sometimes. See if you can guess what the commercial is for. 
Okay, you got it yet? You got it? You got it? It's alphabetical order. Ape Escape, correct. It's NFTs. No, Nary. You better get them. These okay, apes have not you. been stolen. Actually, they have been. No, they just stole the bananas. It's Donkey Kong. No, it's Ape Escape. Atari, discover how far discover you can go. World I'll just tell you what this one is. Dreams. Discover Atari. Pioneers in coin video games like Centipede. Coin video game. I haven't heard that ever. Tempest. And the asteroids. That's nice. Excite you. Test you like never before. Excite you. Atari that opened your eyes to the world's most popular home video games like Space Invaders. They're going for the awe angle. Like the magic of technology. Discover the Atari that brought you a home computer truly designed for the home. Look, they got prisms and shit. It's like a Spielberg movie. Play advanced games. Manage your finances. All at the touch of a button. Discover Atari. Atari! Discover how far you can go. I'll be honest, that's not a bad commercial for its time. Like, that kind of works for me. Interesting that only two years later the you know, thing would happen. But I thought that that was uh, an interesting angle. Because, I mean, look at 1981 versus 1991 in the style of commercials. And then even 2001. Jesus. Things change very quickly. Atari presents its newest star. Vanguard. Just like the arcade. Six. Nice outfits. Zone. Let me show them the mountain zone. Hey, check it out. Get the energy pies. So long, Harley Rockets. Hey, the rainbow zone is my turf. You can shoot in four directions. All right. All Just right. To the stripe zone. The wall. The wall. Yeah. But fellas, who destroys the gun? Luther destroys the gun. Oh, well, Luther. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Only from Atari. Why does Luther sound like an ogre? <laughs> like, like, wait a minute. Did that even come from this actor's mouth? I feel like they overdubbed him with another actor that was more ogre-like. Well, you know, I was, I was playing uh, Atari, and they like made me fight the Grand. What was its name? Gond. That is an excellent, excellent commercial. I want to buy that product. The fun is back. Oh, yes, sirree. It's the 2600 from Atari. Oh. It's the video system with classic Dear delores, God. From space invaders to cars that roar. A real hip joystick controls the screen. Solaris is hot and midnight magic's mean. And one more thing, it's got a special low price. Under 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Now, isn't that nice? The 80s commercial hip hop. Oof. Back, oh, yes, re. It's the 2600 from Atari. Oh, my God. This part of the brain controls the subject's emotions. Try to guess what this is for. Okay. Hey, get off my lawn! This part controls hunger. Hey, you, uh, you gonna eat that? This you got it yet? No? Okay. Controls sexual impulses. Sexual impulses. Did You heard that, right? This controls rational thought. Why would I buy a 32-bit system for $300 when I can get a 64-bit Jaguar system for $149? Oh. Well, there you, there you go. There it is. Atari Jaguar 64-bit, 149 bucks. Look it off! Good. Thank you, Lightbulb Head, for selling the console to me. I fucking want this console so that... I don't know. I want to make light bulbs go off on my brain. Here's Benjamin Hall on the Jaguar system to play Cybermorph. Let's see how Please never Cybermorph. Where did you learn how to fly? How about never Cybermorph, please? Cybermorph only on Jaguar by Atari. Get bit by Jaguar. Get bit by Jaguar. You know what? Your wallet gets bit and then you feel like you got bit because that fucking system... You know what? I played Jaguar games. I didn't play all of them. 
maybe someone liked their Jaguar. There really wasn't. The biggest thrill of a There really wasn't a whole lot to like. Win. 50 Deluxe Home Computer and Video Centers, 200 Atari Centipede Games, 1,200 Atari Home Computers, 10,000 Atari Home Video Games, as well as millions of 10, dollars prices. Purchase of Chicken McNuggets required to redeem food prices. Just scratch the card and match 10,000 video games? Sometimes you win. Sometimes. Because every card can be a winner. Taste the thrill of Atari. <laughs> I mean, it kind of seemed like it kind of seemed like fun to do the scratch offs. It's probably a scam. But just think about this. This is a 1982 commercial. There were already 10,000 video games up until this point. Imagine that. Imagine that. And all of them were some variation of hit the ball from left to right. Oh, sir, we like this Super Pong by Atari Go up. And sold out. That's a demonstrator, but I've got lots of these. Well, we want Super Pong by Atari. Yes, but Super Pong's four color games are more fun. Well, how about this one? Well, no, you see, we'll have more fun with Super Pong's four color games. There's Catch, Solitaire, Super Pong, and Pong. So we'll take this one. <laughs> okay, sure, you won't change your mind. No. Nope. No, but will Danny from The Shining? Why? Because I wanted it. Super Pong. It's not just another video game. It's a real Atari. Atari. Yes, but Super it's... Pong's four color game. Atari. I'm sold out. That's a demonstration. Wait, they, they, I... hang on a second. Switch? I've got lots of these. Well, we want Super Pong by Atari. Yes, but it's... Super Pong's four color games are more fun. Well, how about this one? Well, no, you see, we'll have more fun with Super Pong's four color games. There's Catch, Solitaire, Super Pong, and Pong. So we'll take this one. Okay, sure you won't change your mind. No. Nope. Why? Because I wanted it. I don't, where do they mention the switch? Oh, sorry, we oh, oh, it looked like it. I thought they said the word switch, and people were like, yo, it's predictive. Got lots of Which one? Oh, yeah, that does look like a big-ass switch. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Looks terrible. I bet it is terrible. Two new smash hits from Atari. Come on down. Broadcast to you we're we're from the other you room. Cream Don't buy a tank from anyone until you've seen Battlezone from Atari. There are other tank games, but for color, graphics, and action, Battlezone I've is never seen graphics deal. like this in my life. Don't buy anybody's race car I'm grateful until you for it. Pole position. It's this year's number one arcade hit, and it's just hit home. Battlezone and pole position new from Atari. They call it pole position because you have to assume the position before you can sit on the pole. Because that's what the game is like. <laughs> anyway, bad joke, YouTube poop. Let's see how those oh, God. I'm the invisible man. I'm the invisible man. Crazy Bruce Is that a Queen song? We've got color graphics and action battle. Oops, you have to put the CD in your Oh my god. Are you ready for the real It's so bad. <laughs> Brand new commercial was created. Remember that? Only come from 64 bits of mega power. <laughs> wow, it loves that clip. Introduce. I have wildest dreams. This guy. Pineapple. <laughs> I saw like one frame of Matsumoto covered in whipped cream. Oh boy. Oh, these are some bad poops. These are some bad poops. We've got a long night ahead of us. Wait, is that supposed to be like Americans? Wait, 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 wait,
That's a fake mustache. Oh, this is... Hang on. This is a Yugoslavian commercial. Sega Mega Drive 2. <laughs> what is the commercial? Is it Game Boy or Sega Mega Drive? That was all one commercial. Is this the commercial that made Yugoslavia go away? Did this tank all of that country? Oh no. You've been doing this a lot longer than he has. You got 68 years. He doesn't have x-ray eyes. He can't deflect bullets. You can. Don't know why you let him get to you. Ladies, there's no need to be like that. Isn't that Phil Hartman doing the voice of Blasto? Sure he's out saving the planet, but he has a fresh mouth, this kid. Does he kiss his mother with that mouth? Oh, mama. This Blasto character is a vulgar, foul-mouthed adolescent and a disgrace to our profession. This is what I want to see in the next Marvel Thank film. Thank you. Wow, easy there, fella. Rip Phil Harbin. He doesn't look all that strong to me. No cape? How does he fly? He rides a chicken. <laughs> Yeah, they should really just have Granny Yam tits and a bunch of old superheroes running around the city, just, like breaking their own bones. What's the big deal with this guy? This game wasn't that good. Uh, if the only thing I know about the game is superhero and Phil Hartman, but you know, apparently it was it was the controls were pretty bad. But uh, yeah. What's up, player? Just chilling. I hear that. What? Huh? Hot. <laughs> what? You can't fight time, but Blinks can. Meet Blinks, an unlikely hero who controls time, using powers like rewind, pause, even record. Because if he doesn't, time itself will stop. Isn't that Blink. something? No Blinks. Blinks, rated E for everyone. This Not was so Xbox's no attempt the next. at creating their own one. mascot. You gonna run into me. Yeah. So uh, they wanted to make their own mascot, and they thought, well, Mario, they got that, okay? So PlayStation, they've got, like, Crash and Spyro, fine, okay. Um, Sega obviously has Sonic, so, we, you know, what do we do? Um, well, we can make a cat go back in time, and we can, uh, we can give it this flavor to appeal to a different audience. Yeah, it didn't work out so great. Yeah, I think Blinks had one sequel, and that was the end of it. I don't think Xbox got their mascot. Th Sorry, Xbox, your your mascot. You better watch. You gonna run into me. <laughs> Sorry, your mascot is Halo. But you knew that. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Along came Buck Bumble. And wait, that's that was it. That's the commercial. Next. Say hello to Buck Bumble. He's Mother Nature's twisted little cyborg soldier. This is like a bit of a with the evil cult favorite N64 game. Yeah, so don't bug me. Buck Bumble for N64, the one and only killer bee, Ubisoft. Yeah. Well, play it if you want. We don't really care. Doesn't matter. We made this game in the late 90s. Apathy's all the rage. What's up, dog? <laughs> hey, watch it, Buster. It's just the game, all right? That's the last straw. Who's responsible for this? Who are you? <laughs> Ain't I, a I remember this commercial. Funny, oh my god. I remember that because of when he goes, Who are you? Who are you? That activated like a memory bank.
None of the commercial did I remember until that. Huh. Pretty decent commercial. I mean, it fits the spirit of Looney Tunes. I don't remember if the game was good. I don't even know if that game... Who does the world's most I don't know. I've never played it. ...during a hot new 16-bit game. Genesis does. Who does Disney animation as only a 16-bit video game can? Genesis does. Genesis does. Does. Genesis does. Does. Genesis does. 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 What Nintendo? Does. Who gives you $30 cash back when you buy... Ad Nintendo campaigns Genesis. so good they need to list their competitor in their jingle. Buy Sega Genesis system now and get $30 cash back. Oh, they didn't... They Nintend didn't name the Nintendo. That's interesting. Yes! I'm the Nintendo King! Hi, I'm the Nintendo Queen. Now inside specially marked bags of Chips Ahoy and Oreo cookies, there's a game card with a chance to win one of five Nintendo game cartridges. The old Chips Ahoy box. They were just here. To see if you're one of the 20,000 winners, simply scratch the game card. Or for a free card, write Cookie Queen Game Card Request, Box 9059, Clinton, Iowa, 5273. Oh, the Oreos, too. They're in a weird box. To those game cards. Oh, the dog is playing video games. When the dog has to go to the bathroom, do you think he, um, he presses pause? <sighs> that works for me! I used to have crickets on my soundboard, but now I just have that instead. I got rid of the crickets because they were copyright claimed. <laughs> okay. That was fast commercial. I don't know what the fuck that was, but all right. If you say so. Sonic Adventure. Oh, are they doing an Indiana Jones parody? With fake Indiana Jones music. Oh, I love rip-off music. <laughs> Canonically, Sonic is dead. That plush is probably lost in this jungle to this day. Yeah. They weren't going in there after that. Do you think they're going to go and open a crocodile's mouth for that? Seriously. I don't think they are. They're going to let that crocodile fucking choke before someone goes in there. No one is paid highly enough to get into a crocodile's mouth to grab a Sonic plush. Someone said he had extra lives at least. Uh, wrong. He had extra rings. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> hey, play a video game? Sure. Now, command the power of the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sonic does have lives. Never mind. That's some game. Adam has super graphics. All the arcade screens, all the bonuses, all the intermissions. Even oh, I've seen these nerds games. before. Did these nerds do other commercials at the time? Let's run my satellite tracking program. I miss 80s nerds. Can we can we bring back 80s nerds? You know, like I, I, I feel like that was a really cool subculture. No, no, all right. They made a couple good movies about them. It's Atari's video game, Defender. I played on ColecoVision. Activision. I played on ColecoVision. Mattel's M Network and Imagine. We played, we played them on ColecoVision. Oh my Introducing god. Introducing ColecoVision's first expansion module that lets you play all Atari 2600 compatible Th That looks like, you know, you know what this looks like? This looks like what in 10 years we'll be able to do with robots. With like plastic skin. Like we're getting close to this already. This just feels like we're getting there. You know, actually, you know what? Have you ever seen the robot comedian? Mr. Zed? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need you to see Mr. Zed. Just for a second.
Hello, I'm Zed, prototype of the ZX line and the future. I don't know if this is copyright claimed, but... Of stand-up comedy. <laughs> well, what kind of audience do we have here this evening? Anyone on a first date? <laughs> Good! Any football supporters? Good! Anyone from out of town? Good! Where are you from, sir? Good! All the robot shtick doesn't really extend beyond that first, uh, first part. I mean, maybe you'll like it, but uh, that's Mr. Zed. It's Mac this guy just looks like Mr. Zed mixed with David Byrne. Anyway, back to the commercial. ColecoVision's cartridges, that means you can play more games than any other video game system. It's simple. You can play Atari 2600 cartridges on ColecoVision, but you can't play ColecoVision on Atari. ColecoVision, the oh, expandable damn. video game home computer system. Home computer what? I didn't get the necessary information. Slade and Jenny Olsen have been kidnapped. Who oh no. Save the day. No, 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 no. No, you're not. All the power. This is like Superman yours. with the flu at best. Super speed, super strength, freezing breath, and x-ray vision. Buy early and receive a DC Comics Collector's Edition Superman comic book. Superman, the new adventures video game. Honestly, the comic was probably the best part of the game. So. This is a Commodore home computer system. With it, you can learn music. Oh, thank God. Take care of your household accounts. Find your list. Ah, yes. Your Bar graphs. Oh, I can get my accounts in order. Your family. But it all starts with the Commodore 64 or VIC-20. And now is the right time to start because the price of all Commodore software is now up to 50% less. Commodore computers mm. in more homes than any other home computer. Yeah, I wonder what year this was from that they dropped it 50%. Was this after 1983, perhaps? Doesn't say. Guess the year this game is from, based on commercial, based on Dutch angles, based on attitude of the editing and the filming. It, it really wouldn't be that hard. What, like 1997, 1998, 1989? Yep. Are you sick enough for Cool Borders 4? It's got more air, more tricks, and more chances to explore the freak within. Whoa. The freak within. Whoa. They say like horror movies and like like war video games are bad influences. You don't think some someone tried to go down a garbage chute and died because of that commercial? Because I'm gonna say maybe. Oop. That that was me scrolling through my hog collection. <laughs> Add a packet of in Oh, come on! I disabled that option. Have you ever wanted movies free? Ah, it's me! Have you- Hello, Mario. <laughs> Have you ever wanted movies <laughs> Oh, oh. What is Crazy Herman's Productions? What is that? That's an intro? That's someone's calling card? Crazy Herman Productions? I want to see that again. That's so good. That's so clever. <laughs> That's really good. It's me. Have you ever wanted movies? Meow. Oh. Uh, The black tiger on board the hold it. Load my car. Have you ever Christ.
That's a lot of perfect hogs, though. Wait, the commercials didn't... One coin. The commercials didn't get added. I want to be held. I want to be comforted. All right. Well, that was just an unrelated poop. I, I, uh, I added the commercials. They, they just weren't there. Maybe it's for the best. Let's move on. See what you got here. This hurt? Oh! This hurt? Oh! Does that tickle? Oh! That tickle? You know what's funny? This is my chart. Sometimes it's story time. Well, oh, you know what's great about these beds? <laughs> They're mechanical bulls. They have the remote control. Oh, yeah! Wait, I thought oh, he was gonna, yeah. like... More pain, more gain. All right, wait, well, what? You can't do that to an injured patient. Like Try to, like, straddle. Rated e for everyone. Hey, you know I'm getting a bad rash. Pinch it, don't pinch it. What the fuck? I don't want that game now. Crash is crazy. You, you can't, Good, don't bend too hard. On the you can't get away with this crash. We'll find you and revoke your medical license. And now I'm gonna have to revoke your pilot's license too. Seriously? He's training for his biggest adventure yet. Oh yeah, he's ready. Come on, trust me. Yeah. I stay you got the insurance form. Thanks, Rod. Yeah, thanks, Rod. Please stay so. Okay. I'm not going to tell you again. Put the suit on. I'm not going to listen again because I'm not going to wear it. Look, it's going to stretch. Put the suit on. Are these legal? Can I use these? Clear a path. Coming through. Cannonball. Imagine what that costume fucking off. smells like hey, after the, hey, the water. Stay away from this area. I'll fight it off. Like, like that's it. You got to build a new one now. He's training for his biggest adventure yet. Oh, yeah. He's ready. Coach, there's some shrinkage. Please stay so Oh, that's his penis he's talking about. Oh, penis? Come on, move it. Step on Is it just me, or was there enough room for extra lanes? Hang on a minute. What the fuck kind of road is this? Come on. N no, well, I guess if, you know, well. All right, never mind. Move it. Step on it. Come on, move it. What? Are you talking to me? Honk the horn again, okay? Crash is ready for battle. That suit Crash really bash. fucking smells gross. Multiplayer rumble, rated E for everyone. Uh, two O's in Bandicoot, okay, pal? Uh, sir. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like the way that. That suit smells. Oh, Steve-O! Oh, this Steve-O is definitely not the Steve-O we know today. This Steve-O is on several things. Thanks to team up. And there are some sweet moves in this game, like twin spin, twin throw. Hello, Pontius. Hey, Wild Boys, we're just gonna throw a bunch of money at you. You wanna do some stupid shit? Okay. Yeah, that's kinda what we do. Just because they're working together doesn't mean they gotta like it. <laughs> Crash Twin Sanity, rated E for everyone. That was so incredibly neutered in regards to the Wild Boys and Jackass. Like, first of all, okay, wait, wait, wait. They're going into closed course, do not attempt. First of all, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought, why is Pontius not naked? Also, that is like a little too perfect of a spin. That's sewage. Confirmed. And the evil Dr. Cortex to team up. And there are some sweet moves in this game, like twin spin, twin throw. Allow us to demonstrate. Well, I, I don't think, I mean, it just looks like a little pond. I mean, maybe there's poop in there. Steve-O should have fucking yacked on camera, like from here. And then I would have bought the game. That's the only way I'll buy this game. I need him to yak. All right, well, that's money for old bro. Made a for team. Vinny, I was there, I pooped in it. Oh, okay, that, I'm, we're good then, I'll buy the game. Oh, god damn it, hang on, sorry. 
Game rated T for team. Yeah, nice update, X Split. Good shit. Game rated T for team. I mean, that's nice. I had some serious cake that day. Were they just about to kill him? Like, look at, analyze the last frame before the commercial cuts. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. This program is brought to you by Croc 2, only from Fox Interactive. Violence cooler, sells video games, what can I say? They're really playing Crocodile Rock. It's a cover. I gotta be honest, I kinda thought Pontius and Steve O were in this commercial for a second. So what's cooler? What's cool? Cooler, the new PlayStation game Croc. Never mind. Alive <laughs> I thought they were gonna show up. I was like, maybe that's them in the beginning. It's it's really not. There's a new adventure. Hero in games. Croc. Join Croc as he runs, jumps. Vinny, swims, I was. They were there. Pushes, I was there. Stomps, I pooped in that pool too. His way through a breathtaking 3D adventure. We have a famous I chat member. Through 50 amazing levels as he faces hordes of villains and obstacles. From yeah, I can pay attention to three screens at once. Thanks, commercial. Glaciers and hot lava. Croc, Legend of the Gobos. For PlayStation, Sega Saturn, and Windows 95. Wait a minute. I'm on Windows 10 now. That's like a whole 85 more Windowses. How the fuck do I get that one? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, tiger, you smell pizza? Because I smell a slice. Look, a mini putt for a mini tiger. Hey, little fella, don't get the Shit talking golf hole, ball. You might fall in. This. Hey, I'll take bad. annoying mascots for 10,000. Hey, hey, what do you do? No, 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 <laughs> That's amazing. Multi-tier environments and the 16 characters with the the pixel shading bump mapping. And the rich plot development. Seriously, why? Rich else plot I play development. It? She kicks eye. Rated T for team. That is, you know what? That is an award-winning yeah, commercial. Uh, whoa, is this on? It's a game. It's fine. It's on Twitch. It's a game. Play with a friend or play with yourself. Get she could do like a beach volleyball. indoor ball. swimming, Perfect like a games. indoor plastic pool stream greater than eggs. with one of those ear things, you know, like the, the ASMR ears. That first commercial, yeah, don't, don't worry about the masturbation joke, but that first commercial was really good. It was extremely self-aware. Dead or alive, extreme beach volleyball, Tecmo, 100% games. Play with a friend or play with yourself. Oh, I guess I did miss that. Well, I appreciate the honesty of the first commercial, because that's basically what everybody was saying. 
So at least they went for it. Okay, everybody, what game is this for? Take a wild guess. I'll give you... I'll give you one guess. Tarzan. What? What? Curb Kirby? Oh, because the pink outfit. No. How could you not get this? This is easy. Come on, try again. Barbie? No. Strawberry Shortcake? No. Mother? No. Sonic? No. Penis Man 64? No. Bomberman? No. Gex? No. You know what it's for? Dig Dug 2 and Tag Team Pro Wrestling. Why? 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 It's so, it's so weird! This will haunt my nightmares. Honestly, chat. Like, seriously, this is not... This is... I don't like that. That's really weird. Why would they go with that for the commercial? And then... This... Thing... I don't get it. It's art. I just don't get art. It isn't termites. It isn't mice. It's Atari's Dig Dug, the earth-shattering arcade game. He's dead now. She's dead. As long as the dog is alive, we're good. He digs for balloon men. He digs for dragons. And now he's digging his way into homes everywhere. Oh no, they're dead! Oh my god, mom and dad's dog! Oh god, Fluffy! Fuck! Oh shit! Oh, I wanna buy that new Dig Dug game. If I told you this was an ad for the Fight Club video game that doesn't even exist, would you believe me? You don't hunt them. They hunt you. Dino Crisis, from the makers of Resident Evil. PlayStation. I guess it kind of was more David Lynch than Fight Club. Yeah. This commercial's just fucked, sorry. Your stream is not freezing. This is what was given to me. Like, this was sent to me by Mr. Flipnote, as is. I'm just gonna skip it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. What's the reaction to new Donkey Kong Land? Uh, people going fucking mental, I guess? new levels cool computer model graphics and more cool. banging bad guys it's all the excitement of donkey kong country now on game boy oh, they're going ape so shit hairy, you're gonna need shots that's right they're going bananas <laughs> chat is making nft jokes again I'm not. Okay. I overdid it for a little while there. I don't see monkeys and think to myself, NFT! Not as, not as much as I used to. It's, it's kind of old now, as far as I'm concerned. But here's some poop, which is definitely not old. This is very fresh. Thanks for fighting. <laughs> I, I appreciate the expansion. A miserable little pile of secrets. How come you won't sit in my chair? <laughs> there may be. Oh, fantastic. Good. Family computer. Apparently, there's a new version of this program that was released last year. I'm going to have to check that out. It just needs to go for the future. Because this one does not obey my commands. No. 
Okay, that was a good moment. It was something. On the off chance two clips put together work well together, I, I laugh. It does the funny for me. Oh my god. That is a great pronunciation of Metroid. I'm rewinding. <laughs> That's excellent. Sherwood Forest, at least cues. MEC, dynamic sound. CD, five. Go listen again, because I'm not going to wear it. Look, it's going to stretch. Put the suit on. Yo. My. It's Atari's Dig Dug. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country, rated E for everyone. All right, let's continue on. D. <laughs> Dairy Queen. Four. What the hell is this avant-garde commercial? Dragon Quest Four. Okay. It, it, it's okay. It, yeah, I mean, the game apparently is very uh, good. It's a weird direction for a commercial, but all right. Prepare thyself well, Dragon Warrior. Thy most challenging quest ever awaits. Go with speed, but go with patience. Seek out an arsenal. See, this makes a little bit more sense. It's the uh, U.S. version. Elden Ring live action confirmed. Yes, King Lark. And so begins a new epic, Dragon Warrior. Nintendo, now you're playing with power. I mean, you get a, gun, a bunch of people, not a gun, you get a bunch of people out into the woods, you put some armor on them, you get a horse, you film it, and you have some flowery language. Perfect. Sell that shit to the U.S. You get a gun, you shoot them in the woods, and then you bury them, and then you release the commercial. I'm about to ask a real video brief, which will score more points. Eagles new nacho cheese tortilla chips or... Don't actually do that. Disclaimer, that was a Jack? joke. You're not paying attention to me, Jack. Now you have to try the other leading brand. Jack, I know you like Eagles better, but you have to try them both, you geek. Look, gun. Will you pay attention to me? Don't let this happen to you. New Eagle Nacho Cheese. You're gonna love them. E Eagle? Doritos ruined that company. Vinny, you predicted that commercial. Kinda. I don't think he buried him in the woods, but... That was a weird... That was a weird combination of things. <laughs> it's like, what? Why did... What? what? Yeah, every there's a lot of people that know every Pokemon. Pidgeotto by 44 pounds. Bulbasaur's height? Two feet four inches. How does he do it? The electronic Pokedex. Look how cool he is. From Aber to Zubat, master them all. Weedle's number? 13. 150 Pokemon with all the best fighting moves. Electronic Pokedex for master trainers. New from A lot of people are saying they had that. I did not. I did not have that. But you know what? kind of want to go back in time and give that to myself if i ever get a time machine and i have one opportunity to go back in time i'm not going to change any major events that that's the butterfly shit i don't want to have any butterfly shit going on because you never know what would happen what if you go back in time and you kill and then you know what happens 20 years later we don't have mountain dew i don't want that i'm going to give myself a pokedex and that's it and be like by the way the future, it's gonna get fucking weird. Catch 
and no flying cars, dipshit. Playing with the real llama isn't much fun. Playing with this llama is lots of fun. Disney's The Emperor's New Groove is now on PlayStation. Rated E for everyone. You're just doing the wrong activities. You need to... Um, what do llamas like? They like to eat wheat. They, they eat hay and they smelly and spit. Okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> they sound fucking boring. That's Hot Shots Golf. I mentioned that earlier. Okay. Disk system. That's what that's what he said. For anyone who didn't know. Um, you have, this is Super Mario 2. Oh, he said Super Mario Brothers 2. I, yeah, see, I, I know the language. That's a cool noise. <laughs> I'm sorry, when they add the, the U to, to so many words, it just... And, and like O's as well. Like disc card becomes discocado. I'm sorry, I just enjoy that so much. I enjoy it greatly, in fact. Why is the video so crisp? Someone said she's now like 60. If this was, yeah. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. You know what? I'm still relatively young for an old person. Meaning I was born 1985, the year the NES came out in America. So I kind of grew up with the Nintendo and video game industry when Nintendo was around, you know, when, when they revived it, let's say. So, like, I still feel kind of young. Sometimes I feel kind of old. But it's weird thinking that people that were in these commercials are like 60 now, almost. Jesus. Oh my god. Batsu game? <laughs> Is that what happens when you pirate a Nintendo game? <laughs> Nintendo sends the ninjas? That's what we called them. The Nintendo ninjas for years. And then for me, it's just Reggie breaking down your door. Even though he doesn't work there anymore, they've cloned him. There's plenty of them. I don't like these things at all. Oh no. Oh, those are weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is this game? <laughs> Nintendo ninjas are real. Based on leaks, we know Nintendo sent private investigators to stalk some key figures in the homebrew community. God damn it, Nintendo. The name of this game, it says Mukashi Banashi. Mukashi Banashi. Mukashi Banashi. Yoyuki. 
is the name of this game. That's what it says in the commercial. More really high quality commercials from the 80s. Oh wait, no, this is not the 80s, is it? I don't know when Fire Emblem first... Nineteen ninety. Okay. I love that theme. I gotta say, Fire Emblem music is pretty great. This video just doesn't work. Let's try that again. Okay, never mind. Video borked. I like the green boy. The Game Boy Play It Loud series. What color is yours? I mean, we didn't really have much of anything for a while. Like, for those that don't know or weren't around for it, we had Game Boy in the like 89, and we didn't get Game Boy Color until what, like 98, 99? So we had to deal with cabbage green, shitty screen Game Boy for like 10 years. And then they eventually, um, you know, eventually we got different colors and it blew our fucking minds. And then we got the Game Boy Pocket, which was at least a lot better. I like that one. You haven't been flossing. Oh my god. Shirk all your responsibilities. Don't floss. Play Game Boy. Escape to a world of color for each and every Game Boy game. Do Game Boy Color. Alright. Yeah, just let your teeth rot, whatever. Fuck you, I guess. Uh, that was an interesting combination. Oh, oh, all right. This is a video I have of Miles O'Brien plus We Like the Pain. Here's a poop for the previous videos we've seen. Hey, Mega Man. Oh my god, please. <laughs> I know what that was. Oh wow, the commercial worked there, but not otherwise. Oh God! Show me something, Mega Man. The Game Boy Play It Loud series. <laughs> oh god. What the fuck is this thing? Was it communicating with the afterlife? Great, so you're gonna show me something today? <laughs> okay. Oh, please. Oh, for fucking God. I, I turned that option off. I 
say that every time and I think I turn it off every time and then I don't turn it. It doesn't turn off. Listen, I'm not going to be able to get through all the commercials. Probably a circuit bent speaking spell. Got it. Um, keep in mind, chat. I want to do corruptions tonight and I also do not want my, you know, sleep schedule to be ruined. It's not worth it. So in 15 minutes, wherever I'm at with the commercials, we're going to take a break and I will do corruptions. So we'll be able to fit in corruptions and commercials. And there will be a part two to these commercials because there's a lot of them. And I have a lot more poops, unfortunately for all of us. Okay, so this is broken again. Yeah, so this is... Let me just see. Yeah, um... XSplit is now bad with videos. There is a new update. There's several new updates, and it just fucking sucks worse than usual. However, if I did this with OBS, it would be a nightmare because I would drag the videos in and then I have to unmute them each time. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to hear them. So this is sadly the best program for this kind of segment. Okay, I'd be interested in checking that out, Neri. Someone said that doesn't sound like that much extra work. I mean, when it's this many videos, you have to do it each time. Right click, go in, unmute, right click, go in, unmute. It adds up and it's annoying. But we're good. Only a couple videos don't work. I can I can make that work. I can just play it in VLC. You don't stop playing. Why is the dude from American Psycho playing Game Boy on the job? He has to focus on his video card. Sorry. <laughs> video card? What? His videotapes slash business card. You like how I took videotapes and business card and mashed them together into video card? Wow. That was interesting. You like Huey Lewis in the news? Chat, do you like Tears for Fears? Their first album, The Hurting, is a bit of a landmark, but their second album, Songs from the Big Chair, even better. So which has less battery life? Game Gear or the Steam Deck? Game Gear. Left ear. Flight Fear. Game disappeared. Get a Game Gear Supersonic Sports Pack. Game Gear. A color portable Game Gear, carrying case, and two hit games. Sonic 2 and the Majors Pro Baseball. Whoa, you even save 50 bucks. The Game Gear Supersonic Sports Pack. You know who makes it. Coffee? Tea? Death Near. Something incredible is happening that will give Sega Genesis even more power. Oh, you don't know about the people screaming Sega at you? That happened, like, every time. They became Black Hole Sun from the Soundgarden, and then they scream at you, Sega, and that's how you remember to buy their website. <laughs> there's, their, their systems. Why am I saying... Why is website in my brain? Game Genie now works with what your Sega Genesis am I okay? Most games like Sonic the Hedgehog, Kid Chameleon, Toe Jam, and Earl. Game Genie for Sega Genesis. All right, it's time to put Vinny in the home. You cast them aside, exile to the closet, rescue them, get most of your old video games out of the closet and play them like new with Game Genie. Jump higher, change levels, live forever. Excellent! 
said, your Nintendo Entertainment said maybe, don't really want to know. Oh, nice music. Oh, this is good. I've never seen this commercial. I, it's kind of neat to see what uh, Game & Watch had. It's just Game Watch? They didn't say and? Huh. Interesting. All right, I'm going to start your exam now. Hey, everybody. What do you think this is a commercial for? If you guessed prostate exam, you're correct. Let's move on, shall we? You might feel a little pressure. Okay. And we're in. <laughs> Keep guessing. You got it yet? What company made this commercial? No, think, you know, in your own heads. Think to yourselves. Try to figure it out. What's that? What's that? Look, it's video of his, his rectum. It looks like Frogger Advanced. Now let's keep moving. Yep, that's about the quality of Frogger Advanced. Doctor? Oh, that's fine, nurse. That's just Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. Going a little deeper. Ooh. You know, it's interesting that they are comparing the prostate exam to the quality of the games. I don't know if that's intentional, but good subtext from the director. <laughs> hey, is that Spider-Man? Advance, more games equals more fun. Ready for everyone. Have you seen my shorts? I don't know if any of those games are good, but I they're all licensed. I'm assuming not. I don't know. But let's just Yeah. Yeah, camera up the ass. Good to handle. That's so good. You can <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> Did they really just fucking Photoshop a fist poorly? And that's the thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. That's a lawsuit. I, is how long is this going to go on for? Note to Twitch: I have nothing to do with this commercial. I'm just showing it. Uh, all right, everybody, listen. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a video game commercial? Oh. Vinny, it's a move that you do in-game. No! No! Stop! <laughs> How is this real? Uh. Good. Okay. Oh, you got you really do that. Good. That's either the best commercial I've ever seen or the worst. I I can't believe that's real. The game is amazing, Vin. I, yeah, uh, uh, people like it. Joel likes it, apparently. That is... Just when you think you can't be surprised by shitty commercials anymore, or just game commercials in general, that happens. And now my interest and passion for video game commercials has been renewed. And discussed all at once. 
全宇宙を飲み込んだ超スペースファイターグラディウス絶賛発売中トナミトナミ after all that they built a miniature look at that they built a miniature they, they had a little set for the spaceship kind of I mean looks you know light panels but Konami Konami It's a guitar mimicking the sound of an engine. But now it's doing a riff. It's actually it sounds pretty cool. I mean, I like guitar. I don't know if you knew that about me, but uh, that sounded pretty cool. Oh, it's glitched again. Yeah, it was desynced. You know, I like it better this way. It's fine. I was going to say, it's almost like borderline experimental. It's just a slow video of, of a car racing and letting the guitar do the work of the commercial and then just ending the commercial. I was like, oh, this is cool. And then it showed gameplay footage. Okay. I mean, yeah, about what you'd expect. What am I listening to? You can eat them, or they can eat you. What am I watching? Do you think parents of this time were watching this shit? Like, what the fuck is this TV doing to my children? Like, yeah, no wonder so many people didn't take video games seriously. Oh, my my child likes video games. Is that such a good thing? There was a commercial on the other night that was like just basically penis music. The clam. You can eat them or they can eat you. I couldn't believe it. Margaret, there was penis music on the TV. My kids are playing this every night and they're they're getting caught in the clam. Gee. Dorothy, that's so... That is so Raven. Alright, here we go, baby. Wind blowing out. Three irons, straight to the green. Come on, come on, get up there. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby! Whoa! Come on, baby, get in the hole! <laughs> oh, man, Woo! Oh, shots golf too. That's the point of the commercial. For the people, rated E for everyone. By the way, good games, the Hot Shots golf games. They're actually really solid. Fire! Oh shit! I'm s oh oh. G looks fun. Family computer yo cassette. Hyper sports. What if I told you all video games from this point, from that game on, are the same game, just reconfigured? You just press buttons in different orders with different timings, and there's more of them. Sure, there's all fancy graphics and everything, but at the end of the day, you're still just pressing buttons. Nope, every game, I won't even hear it. I don't even want to know about any other game that doesn't have the same formula. We peaked at that game right there. We peaked. Anyway, take a peek at this. It's more YouTube poop. But he's bound to come across. Wind blowing out. Three iron. You wear wigs? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. Yeah. 
Oh no. I feel like that one commercial could just be all of the YouTube poop. What did it say? Let's see. Wii <laughs> Met him. Him. Sleelt. On your note. Seus. What is this letter? How do you pronounce that? Gen. <laughs> nah. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay! Three, download movies for your movie. Oh. oh my god. Hey, Nort. Uh, no, I do not. Where is God when you need him? <laughs> Where is God when you need him? <laughs> yep. But you could get old if you stop. Alright, here we go, baby. Uh, no, I do not. Game Genie for Sega Genesis. Excellent. Uh, I, I hate it. Mommy uh. was a creator of the room, but let me <laughs> they cut him off. He shows up and the YouTube poo program was just like, nope, nope. Don't introduce us to anything, Tommy. The, the segment's over. All right. Well, everybody, I have uh, I have bad news or maybe good news, depending on your perspective. But that's all I'm going to show you of the commercials right now. Uh, the next segment will be even a little bit longer than this one, including a combination of all previous poops. You know what? I'll show you one now. Here's a combination of every commercial plus poop. You won't get the context of some of this, but does it matter? Does it really matter? So here's a spoiler for next time. Consider it a preview. Oh god, we just got rickrolled. Will be nearly impossible. Yeah, don't don't watch this one to go to sleep too. Mario. <laughs> Literally turn that option off. Literally turn it off. Only from Atari. A video. It's borderline experimental. Yeah, my brain is just getting rotten watching this. This is just pure brain rot. <laughs> this is the best part so far. <laughs> yeah, the sleeper agents are being programmed by these YouTube poops. Oh my god, what a bunch of fucking horseshit that was. Alright, well, I'll have more horseshit for you in a couple weeks. So, you know, the, the YouTube poop slash classic... Listen, there are people that like the poops better than the commercials. Who am I to disappoint? My customers. Say my name.
You're goddamn right. All right. Well, anyway. Uh, yes, my name is Willy Wonka. That's that. Sure. I'm, yep. The Joker, baby. We're, thank you for watching this segment. Corruptions are up next, but we're going to take a quick break. And just to get everything set up. And uh, hey, thanks for joining once again. Actually, before I do Corruptions, quick announcement. Once again, I will deliver this announcement at the end of Corruptions as well. But for you know, since there's a lot of people here, to avoid confusion and to give my mods a break and to further separate the pre-recordings from the live streams, there will no longer be pre-recorded videos Mostly, I would say 99% of the stuff I do pre-recorded is just going to end up being uploaded directly to YouTube. So this channel, when you see a notification, it'll only be for live stuff. Meaning, um, if you want to watch my pre-recorded shit, just go to Full Sauce, YouTube, Full Sauce, and you'll find usually once a day a new thing. The reason we're doing this is because people were complaining, people were getting confused, even months later. Um, and also, I just don't think there's as much need for it because it was useful when I wasn't streaming. I'm going to try to stream like three days a week. So, you know, maybe a bonus one as well. So that way, when you see me on this channel, I'll be live. I'll deliver some random gameplay during the week, and then I'll try to do like a Sunday stream and maybe a bonus if I'm feeling it, if I have the time, if it doesn't cut into my life in a way that disrupts my um, life. I, I like streaming. I enjoy it a lot, especially Elden Ring. But um, yeah, I just need to continue not doing every day. Meaning, um, live once in a while, pre-recorded other, other times. So if you don't see something on this channel, uh, please go to my YouTube full sauce, Vine Sauce Full Sauce, and you'll, si you'll find something. You'll find a video. Uh, I already have a couple things recorded. Uh, just so you know, I know people, like I said before, I know people like to chat with each other. I'm sorry. I know this is not going to be the most popular decision, but that's why I will try to uh, play the video games live a little bit more often for you because you have been so incredibly fucking good to me and you continue to, you know, enjoy my stuff and you continue to sub, which I do not ask for, but people do like to sub to me. Thank you. So I'll try to keep up a little bit of a schedule. I don't know. I won't have a specific time, but I'll just try to do three days a week. And if I'm feeling spicy, I'll throw another day in there. Um, otherwise, pre-recorded will be on their own on YouTube. Thank you for listening to this announcement. Let's take a quick one minute break and I will be back with corruptions. <laughs> 